Hey, Dr. Jeff LaCour, ENT physician with Compasio Medical. Have you been treated with multiple antibiotics and steroids for ear pain, but your ear pain's not getting better? Let's find out where your ear pain might actually be coming from. So one of the most common things I see as an ENT physician is patients that come in that were treated with numerous antibiotics and steroids, and I look in their ear, and their ear's completely normal. They'll be told that they just have a little bit of fluid, or you just have a mild infection, but they don't get better after antibiotics and steroids. So let's take a look at a patient that fits that bill. So right here is the, the mandible right here. The masseter muscle is gonna be right behind here. So when I push right here, go ahead and open your mouth, how does that feel? It hurts. It, that's tender. That's very tender. And up here is the temporalis muscle right up here. I'm going to go ahead and push right there. How bad is that? That hurt. Okay, got it. So what's going on here? I find that a number of patients, me included, will sleep if there's a lot going on in their life or if there's a lot of stress, we'll clench our teeth or we'll grimace like this and tighten up these muscles up here and down here. When we clinch, we're primarily clinching two muscles, the temporalis muscle, which attaches right here, just above the ear canal right here. The other muscle is the masseter muscle, which attaches to the back aspect of the jaw. When we're clinching, these muscles will tighten and they'll put pressure on the jaw joint, which is right here. Notice where that's sitting, just in front of the ear canal, which is right behind it, right here. So when we clinch, it may manifest as ear pain. So what are some things we can do? A, do what I do, visit your orthodontist or dentist and get a bite block made that's specific for your bite. I sleep with one every night and when I don't sleep with one, I wake up with a headache and ear pain. Number two, seek out a physical therapist that knows what they're doing with TMJ in the jaw. They can loosen up these muscles and that, invalu that will be invaluable for you. If the ear pain persists despite doing these things, definitely see an ENT provider. Although uncommon, head and neck cancer of the voice box or the back of the tongue can manifest as ear pain, so you should get it checked out by an ENT provider. For more content like this, please like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.